chronic cough. Oh my gosh, it's cough that lasts for weeks. Have you ever had it? If you have, I know you've been wondering, what is causing my cough? Guys, we're going to talk about that today. Let's just jump right in, by the way. Did you know that one of the most common causes of chronic cough is actually acid reflux? I know, it doesn't sound like those two should go together, does it? Uh, but as a family doctor, it's one of the things I often ask about right off the bat, because acid reflux can actually cause a chronic cough. And you might not have known that. In fact, some people are like, I don't even think that I had acid reflux. I didn't know it could do that. Well, yes, uh, it can. Uh, also, oh, by the way, guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Another thing that can cause chronic cough, that cough that lasts about eight weeks or longer, uh, is medications. That's right. There are plenty of medications that can cause a chronic cough. There is one type of blood pressure medication, a, a class called ACE inhibitors. You might be familiar with these or you might take them yourself. Uh, they can notoriously cause a cough, a dry cough. And that's why I've got to say before we go on to the other reasons, look, if you you have a cough at all, short-lived cough, long-lived cough, whatever the case, I want you talking to your doctor because uh, many times there could be underlying causes contributing to this cough that we need to address or deal with or treat, okay? But yeah, medications can do it as well. Also, asthma. Yeah, believe it or not, asthma doesn't just cause wheezing, doesn't just cause shortness of breath. In many people, it actually causes a cough. So please understand that. And then also COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also known as emphysema. Uh, that is a lung disease you might have heard of, but people with COPD often have a cough as well. Um, and this is the thing, guys. I know many of you have heard of things like the smoker's cough. Well, yeah, we call it smoker's cough because it is tends to be a thing. Many people who smoke will have a cough. So yes, smoking can cause coughing. So of course, we always want you to quit smoking, don't start smoking, things like that. That's really important. Um, seasonal allergies. Now, you guys probably do understand that seasonal allergies can cause a cough. This is a very common cause of chronic cough or seasonal allergies just makes your cough. But the other thing is too, sometimes like after we get over viral infections or uh, other types of infections, post-nasal drip, that is like a little bit of mucus that drips to the back of our throat can actually trigger a cough. That is something that we see quite commonly that can last for weeks, even after an illness or things like that. So, so keep that in mind as well. There are also things that are less common. That's whooping cough or tuberculosis, things like that. And of course, we always wanna make sure that we're ruling out things like cancer, lung cancer and other conditions. That's why I say, regardless of how long your cough has been going on, if it's bothersome, it's not gone away, make sure you talk to your doctor about it. But understand, chronic cough, that cough that lasts about eight weeks or longer, can be caused by many things that you might not have thought about. So make sure you are talking to your doctor. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Please subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. Guys, I'll see you soon.